Hi and welcome back to another shot in electronics. Our patient today is this air conditioner control board that goes on the outdoor units of a three-phase air conditioner. Okay, let's take you in so you can look a bit closer here. Uh, just try to get a nice view looking on the camera. Okay, so this board basically controls the outdoor units of this ducted aircon. Your neutral and your three phases coming on these three terminals. Then here is terminals that it uses to get signals from the inside unit. It sends it as 230 volt mains signals telling it if it must heat or if it must cool, start the compressor, things like that. Then the mains comes in, goes through these resistors and optos. Um, the first three are to check if all three phases are available and in the right order because you can't run a three phase motor if you're missing a phase or the phase is wrong because it's just generally bad. The other three are for the control signals. Okay, then the mains comes in, goes through a fuse and goes out through this thermistor to a transformer. From the transformer it comes back in on the top of the board to run the, the logic circuits. You've got a current transformer over here that one phase to the compressor goes through just to see how much power the motor is drawing and cut out if it draws too much. Then we've got relays for the different outputs because here's the outputs that run your solenoid valve and your changeover for the heat and the compressor and the fans and that. Now as you can see I've just bypassed the transformer part and I don't have three phase in my lab here but this is basically what I was doing. So I'm just feeding in a 12 volt, just over 12 volts to compensate for those diodes there just to get the logic circuit to work. Now this LED one, according to the legend card, when it's flashing like this, it means one of the phases isn't available, or the phases isn't in the right order. Okay, now this will carry on flashing on the workbench because I've only got single phase to it, but in the field on the unit, it was receiving all three phases properly, but this light was still blinking. I swapped it with another board and it worked fine, so I know that the air conditioner itself is fine, it's just something wrong with this board that's not detecting uh, that the three phases are there. If you look underneath at what I've done here, I've just hooked up the neutral and the live, and I've bridged the live across to all three terminals. Because we're not going to get three phase here, so we're just going to actually see that our logic circuit is going to be, basically these optos are going to be seeing all three phases and passing it on to the microcontroller to make it happy. Okay, so before I test this board out, I'm just going to so you one I prepared earlier. Basically this is the schematic of what's going on in the circuit. Try to get it there so you can see it nicely on camera, which means it's skew for me. Okay, so this is basically all the mains inputs, okay? You've got your well this is just okay for example the A phase, okay? It goes through the 68 kilo ohm 2 watt resistor, which is acting as a potential divider with this 510 ohm quarter watt resistor to the neutral. Okay, neutral then goes through to the opto isolators LED portion, and this tap here comes off into pin 1 of the opto. Okay, so when the power is coming in, hopefully, this opto light causes the transistor to conduct. Okay, and as you can see here, we've got a 5 volt pull up resistor through a 10k resistor. And that, that will basically pull down to ground when this transistor is conducting. So when it's detecting a high part of the signal or the phase, the input will basically be pulled low through this resistor, through a decoupling capacitor, and going through to the microcontroller. You'll see over here, I've got this capacitor dotted here, because that's these capacitors over here. So on your main sensing, they don't want any smoothing basically, they want to be able to see the, the cycling, the, the waveform, or just to see the pulses, to signal um, phase and to signal crossings and things like that, okay? That's why these don't have smoothing capacitors. But these capacitors here are on the signals from the indoor units, just to cut down and smooth any interference that's on those signal lines, just to stop erratic switching and things like that. So what we are going to do, we're going to just basically test this whole circuit here. 
we're going to test the out of the opter and the input of the opter and see if we are getting power so let's put this here for you to see Did I have power on this board the whole time that I'm fiddling with it oh okay don't do that at home please make sure it's unplugged before you do something silly like that that could have been painful could have made an interesting addition to the video okay so let's check our input that we are just putting power on all three phases obviously it's 230 volts South African power okay it's at 253 okay well it's supposed to be 230 but running a bit high tonight I'll see 250 and 250 okay so we are getting power in basically let's check the outs of our opto isolators also okay let's go down to about 200 volts just to give us a nice decimal point there okay so we got 10 volts AC on that one out 10 volts AC 6 volts AC now these circuits are identical so this one's giving a different reading to the rest of them let's check the inputs I'm going to take it to 500 volts just to be safe okay input to this opto is 0 okay input to this opto 0 input to this opto is zero okay so this one's definitely getting a voltage in there 0.08 this isn't the most highest resolution multimeter so this one's actually getting input so this one might be working so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna check the output of the optos which comes through on these 14 15 16 and 12 inputs or whatever so let me hook a scope up okay Okay, so you see that first um, output of the opto to the microcontroller is running high, not fluctuating. Second one running high. Third one, that is a nice signal. Okay, so basically you can see we are getting a sort of a square wave signal. So it is a square wave, so this one's basically given output number three, but the other two aren't. Okay, so that's promising. So it's just one phase detection that's not working. Let me show you me unplug it okay let's go back down to the board so we were getting no reading on the input of those two optos well but we were getting a reading on the third opto okay so let's take a look so let's just lift that off those two oops for now Okay, so now we have three isolated input resistors. Okay, let's go. Oh, there we go. Nothing. Nothing. And 68K. So these two resistors are definitely faulty. Third one's quite hot. So I think we're just going to change those resistors first and see what happens. Now I've got some 3 watt resistors. Make sure I've got a few extra just in case I have to fix more of these boards sometime. So that's supposed to be blue, grey, orange. It looks like blue, grey, brown. Which is 680 ohms, which is not what we need. Here is a nice new shiny one. It's a bit bigger, but it'll still fit. Blue, grey, orange. And that's 68K. Why do they put one in the opposite direction? Uh, well, I'll try to put it to match the majority, and you don't put it right against the board because they dissipate heat. So we're going to give it a nice little spacing like that above the board. And as you can see, I just dropped it, so we have to pick it up back up again.
Okay, I'm back. So let's cut these. Yuck, that one looks terrible. I have to fix that. This one don't look terrible there. Just touch those up. Okay, just me. I lost my little bridge I had. Build a bridge and get over it. Okay, now you are looking at this board and you see things like that corrosion over there. And at the top of the board, you probably noticed some other corrosion. So, basically, what I am going to do. Before I put this thing in, is I'm going to give it a good toothbrush with some alcohol. For the board, not for me. And just clean off where I've worked here and also clean off that cor corrosion to stop it from corroding a bit further. And then I'm going to spray some positive 20 conformal coating on it or. Oh, not positive 40, sorry. Plastic 70 conformal coating or some clear lacquer, just depends. Okay, so now I've got it bridged out again. Putting mains on it so I have to make sure my paper's nice and clean. Okay, of course you're going to say, yeah, it's still giving the error light. Of course it will because I don't have three phases. So it's basically a phase failure. Because I'm not, I don't have all three phases running. Okay. But when I hook it up to three phase, if it, I'm getting signal out on those jumpers, it means I'm getting the three phases into the opto and it should be fine. Those resistors are probably warming up at the moment. It'll be interesting to see actually what temperature they get up to after a few minutes. But let's scope the thing. You see, I'm hooked onto the tab of the 5 volt regulator because on your regulator, your three pins are in, ground out, and the t tab is part of the ground center. So you can just check over there. Now I'm looking, and I'm getting the signal on all three. Let's take you higher, so you can see the scope, and you can see my shelves there. Okay, don't look at the shelves, just look at the scope screen. Okay, so that is junction 14, first phase, and we're getting the nice square wave. 15 second phase, 16 third phase. Okay, so we are getting those three phases coming through perfectly. So I believe this shouldn't give a problem once I hook it up. That's a, what a person looks like when they got a slight fever. Let's go to thermal camera. Okay, so now these are the three watt resistors. You can clearly see them on the board there. Let me try to zoom in so you can see up ah, there we go you can see and if you look at the heat signatures there 91 99 88 so those things actually dissipate a lot of heat okay so there are three watt wire rounds they Better than the two watts that were in there. So I don't have a problem with putting this board in after just doing a good toothbrush cleanup and things like that and sorting out a bit of the corrosion around there, around those diodes, we've got some rust and things like that. But otherwise, I think it's good. So let me put that back in. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you can give it a thumbs down. Please subscribe to my channel and if you click that little bell icon that looks like a bell, those of you that don't know what an old bell looks like, that's a bell. Ding dong. Oh, sorry. If you push that bell icon there, I think it's got ringing lines on the outside. Then it'll let me, let you know whenever I've uploaded a new video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Ever had the feeling that your lab doesn't want you to actually leave? No, nope, the door is not locked. The lock mechanism or something has gone wrong, so I'm stuck in here. Hmm, that's interesting. It's not really turning it back to normal. <laughs> yeah. I'm an electrician, not a door opener. Oh. Oh. It's open! Yep, gonna need a new one of those.